My name is Haley Hall. Okay, great. So you grew up with the model? Yes, I did, yeah. So tell me about that. What was that? Um, like, was there a specific skill that you learned? Patience. Um, yeah, that's definitely one thing um, I think I've taken the most from it. Um, just in the whole, like, focusing on the positive more than the negative, you know, um, a lot of people don't really respond well to negativity, you know, the sternness, um, yelling, stuff like that. So I think it's it's really a great way to help shape behaviors in um, children and adults. But yeah, once I started focusing in on it, um, when I started working at TFS, it just, it's so much more than just at home. I mean, you can apply it everywhere in your life. I mean, to the people that you talk to, um, people you meet. Uh, so you were mentioning earlier, like for a future family, there are things that you'd want to implement in Yes, definitely. I think it's, um, I mean, it's a great way to raise children. Um, I would definitely be interested in implementing it into, yeah, future family. So, yeah. Wonderful. And uh, what are the benefits? I mean, um, how many siblings do you have? I have three. You have three? Yes. They're all different personalities. Yes, and, all over. Okay, and so yeah. your parents, are, so your mom's using the teaching family model for mm -hmm. the different personalities, and how does that, what does that look like in your family? Well, um, yeah, we are all very different. I'm more so like an introvert, shy, and I have my youngest sister who is just like all over the place, so um, I guess gotta put a little bit more work into her, but um, it's definitely, I mean, even um, my middle sister, you know, implementing it into her life, she's like structure and timing, you know, to wake up on time, go here on time, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, but if, it was a little difficult kind of like shaping it into all of our different, you know, personalities, but um, she definitely made a way. And um, now that, yeah, I'm old enough to look back and see what exactly she was doing, I see how it's the better way to go. I mean, it makes the most sense. Um, I think it's quite brilliant. What is something about her that's super amazing? She is very patient. I think that's something that I just see resonate from her. She just has this love and patience for us um, because, like I said, we're all over the board. So, I mean, my little sister's running around everywhere. Like, Julia wants stuff to be on time, you know, strict, and then I'm just kind of free-flowing. So, I think it's I don't know, I think it's awesome just to see. And we're age, our age differences are pretty vast. I mean, we're all five years apart, so, um, yeah, that, yeah. that's a little much. That, that makes a huge difference. Yeah, definitely. You all have different needs. Yes, and we're all in different stages in life, so to actually be able to zone in on each one of us and be able to give us exactly what we need and um, provide and help us through life, I think it's, she did a great job. But now that you know all your mom's secrets, I mean, <laughs> is, that, is that a hard thing or is that a weird thing? Or um, no, I think it's brought us closer. I mean, especially working with her, um, just seeing her professionally and personally. I mean, she's just such a well-rounded person. I mean, there's nothing I could really complain about. I mean, she's just amazing. Oh, great. Yeah. So she's a good role model. She what, is. What would you say? I think as soon as I was out on my own and could appreciate her more as a mother figure and like as something that I could look up to. Um, it's just brought us so close. I mean, I feel very close to her. Then of course growing up with my aunt who's mentally disabled just opened up doors for me. It just really, um, I mean, it's just, it's a whole different life. I mean, you take, I think, I feel like there's so many things that we take for granted and then to see her and her struggles and I mean, it's just, I think she's so amazing. I don't think people see that. I mean, so what if she can't talk and can't do much for herself? She's awesome. Like, she shows us in different ways. She speaks with her hands and little noises. So I think it's just, I think it's great. Yeah.